Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. inside of the trunk of a car and now more than a week later her loved ones still have no answers this is 43 year old yaquana goggins and police say she was found dead at a parking lot off 135th and southeast division that was february 7th and tonight our fox 12 sarah hurwitz is speaking with goggins mother and family at a vigil sarah joins us now live from southeast portland well, good evening, Bonnie. Jaquana Goggins of family is in agony tonight. They made that clear with their tearful vigil, praying for her and their family right here in this parking lot where she was found inside a car. You can see that there are still some candles and balloons left over from that vigil tonight. But what's haunting them the most right now is what happened and who they say might be behind it. She come together and lift them up and help them in their sorrow and their pain and their trauma. Yes, uh, huddled in the parking lot where Jaquana Gawkins was found, her family and friends remember her heart. Oh. And no matter how she dies, good Heavenly Father, we always want to remember the way that she lived. Yes, Lord, Father, Lord. With love in her heart and a smile on her face and a oh, hug for anyone. Yes. Gawkins' body was discovered on February 7th in this parking lot at 135th and Southeast Division. Portland police describing her death as suspicious. Family said she was found in the trunk of a car. That car, family says, happened to be her brother's, as Goggin and her brother traded cars at the time. Her mother tells Fox 12 that she last heard from her daughter about three weeks ago on the phone and said that she was at a friend's house. Nothing, her mother says, seemed to be wrong. And then there was just no communication from Goggins, and she disappeared. There's no reason for someone to do something like this to my baby. You know, whoever did this, think about it if it was one of your kids, family members. You know, we wouldn't be okay with this. You, 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 you've taken a life from our family. Times like this, the African American community has come together, and we are strong, especially when there's pain, unnecessary pain, like this pain right here. I want anybody out there that hears anything on this matter. Please call the detectives. Now, Portland police have not released many details in regards to her death. Of course, if you do know anything, you want to contact the department. Reporting live here in Southeast Portland tonight, Sarah Horwitz, Fox 12, Oregon.